DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, it is Wednesday and I'm sitting on my bench and as you can see, I'm actually just in my shirt. It's a little bit warmer. It's not extremely warm. It's 23 uh, degrees Celsius. What is 23 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? The answer is 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so as you can see, that's not extremely warm, but it's nice. It's not too hot. That's exactly it. Yeah, you know, I was going to follow up on a few things I was thinking about when I was talking about last week. I mentioned like you know, the difference, cultural differences, at least in the time of my grandparents between family sizes and everything. And and I was thinking like my, my uh, grandmother on the French speaking side, they only had four children. In today's world, four children is a lot. But uh, she was getting flack every year by the, the local priest, you know, like, aren't you doing your family duties? And my, my grandmother would basically, uh, at least that's what she told us, you know, she would answer in the confessional or whatever, you know, what goes on at home is, you know, <laughs> is my business. But, uh, you know, uh, four people, four uh, uh French family at the time, so my grandmother, was not a lot of people. Usually families were six to eight uh, at that period. And I mean, four was probably what you'd find in an English-speaking family uh, at the time, not much more than that. So yeah, you know, she's a bit of a revolutionary. Of course, like I said, she came from a family where there were 16 living children and something like 23 births or something like that. So she probably didn't want to go through the same type of thing uh, that her mom did. But, uh, you know, there were, there were very big... Vloggers age. There was very big social differences, nevertheless, at the time. Like my, my, my mom's family, uh, my, my dad... Sorry, my granddad uh, had um, a sawmill at a time. And I think I did mention it, you know, that he, he lost it through a flood. And uh, then finally he, he became a farmer uh, in, a, in a town called Sutton. And uh, they were very involved socially, uh, culturally, and, and everything. You know, the, uh, the odd fellows, which were kind of like the, the, uh, the Freemasons or something like that. It was like a branch of that, more or less. And uh, my grandmother was in the Rebecca's, which was like the uh, female uh, equivalent they were in the farm forum and my mom would take piano lessons and had high, you know went to high school and so on so uh, it's it's just to say how it was another world wasn't it i mean uh, very lot of social gatherings uh, be it with the church or different social gatherings on the french speaking side like i think i mentioned is my my dad it would they would you know they were working basically to survive you know, so uh, very, very different uh, levels of, uh, I was going to say, social social levels. It's interesting also when you talk about with, with the family members, about family history, where there was also a difference in the perception of maybe patriotism. Um, I, I recall stories from the French-speaking side of the family. We are talking probably about the first world war here where uh, you know when it came like time for recruiting or stuff like that that they had hit a bunch of brothers and hidden in the woods and that was actually quite common uh, on the French speaking side they didn't want to go fight for the English and uh, they were seen basically as heroes uh, of course if I would bring that over like on my on the English speaking side of my family like I have an uncle of mine who you know, was, was uh, uh, I was going to say, a very decorated uh, soldier from, in this case, was World War Two, but, you know, uh, uh, fought in Italy, uh, was wounded, and so on. And uh, the members, mostly of my, uh, and the English-speaking side of my family, uh, have all, you know, served in the military. Uh, a lot of them, at least, put it that way, a lot of them. So a very, very different way of looking at, uh, at patriotism and culture. Uh, 
I guess that's probably, we would say, a thing. Some would say it's a Quebec thing. Uh, I do think it's, it's, it's nevertheless something that's ingrained in the, in the, in the, in the culture, but also in the way that one identifies with, with the country. And I think for many years now, uh, that has been a problem actually, or an issue, uh, how to identify with the country. I mean, I guess a lot of the French speaking people in Quebec never really identified with, with, with Canada and put it that way into the Commonwealth as a country. So yeah, th things like that. I mean, people, a lot of the people that are watching this, well, some of you are Canadian, of course, and others uh, are American. So y you might have a few problems to identify. Those who are from Canada will know what I'm talking about. I think especially like uh, Andy, who grew up in uh, in Quebec, like myself. So it, it's always interesting, especially like I look at myself. Uh, so uh, as a kid, uh, even like some people would, you know, would almost call us half breeds. You know what I mean? Strange, isn't it? Because we were, well, my mom was English speaking, and uh, my dad was French speaking. It was almost a racial issue at the time, and you had had to live through that. I mean, there was certain street fights and things like that. At the other hand, though, on the positive side, nevertheless, when people got out of the, I was going to say, when you lived in the village, overall, overall, there was a good sense of camaraderie between between the groups. I guess it just depended. It was a village thing. And a lot of intermarriages. <laughs> yeah, strange. But I, do, I, I have to say, though, that, you know, there I, I kind of miss that in a way because when we've moved away from the town into a essentially uh, only French speaking part of the of the province at the time uh, you you felt there was something that was missing yeah you know there was that cultural part and actually and then there was also the suspicion sometimes you know why why is he you know showing maybe, allegiance to to the others or whatever anyway so kind of a um, here and there vlog talking about childhood and I, i'll get onto it more a little bit maybe in another vlog but that's uh, that's enough for right now i guess and uh yeah i guess when i see i'm coming up to eight minutes now so we dc signing off kind of a just chatting lunch vlog okay take care bye, -bye.